Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. I'm at the 2020 National Farm Machinery Show. We're gonna take a look at the John Deere exhibit. The big news from John Deere in 2020 is this new 8RX 370 tractor and the other 8RX four track tractors. This tractor is set up with tracks in the front and tracks in the back. I had an opportunity to drive one of these this fall and it's a really impressive tractor. It has a nice three point hitch back here that's extended out from the frame and it's perfect for running a 65, 60 foot wide corn planter or heavy duty strip tillage implements or other primary tillage implements. Again, you can see this track system with three bogey wheels down here. It's got the tracks up front. So we can see this new style hood that looks like the classic two cylinder John Deere 20 and 30 series, that bright yellow decal. And now it'll be pronounced as 8RX 370, which means 370 horsepower. So we work our way through the John Deere exhibit. There's a John Deere tractor you wouldn't expect to see at the 2020 Farm Machinery Show. And that's a 1977 John Deere 4430. This classic tractor is really nice looking, fully restored. It belongs to Don Cummings, who has exhibited here at the show for John Deere. And I really don't think you can find a nicer looking 4430. Why is this classic tractor here at the show? It's to help promote this new planner, the 1745 John Deere planner. It is built to be a modern corn planner and to work with classic tractors like the Sound Guards, the 4430s, the 4440s. You can see that this 4430 is equipped with the Green Star 6000 receiver. Not something you would see on a Sound Guard every day, but John Deere is helping farmers that like these classic machines utilize modern technology. 1745 has liquid fertilizer on this unit. It's got that classic 7000 series look to it with the starter fertilizer openers. We can come back here and see it's also a pivot fold planter. I'm really looking forward to seeing this out in the field. This planter is set up to plant eight rows of 30 inch corn or 11 rows of 15 inch soybeans. So you can see it has the traditional kind of max emerge style boxes on it for corn. And then it has these big bushel boxes for soybeans. John Deere also has a 450M round baler on exhibit at the show this year. John Deere makes some really good looking round balers. We also can see the John Deere 6120M tracker on this round baler. Definitely a good utility team for the farm. So we can take a look at those. John Deere also has a Hagee STS-12 self-propelled sprayer on display. Hagee is part of John Deere. The company acquired this great sprayer line just a few years ago. There are also some smaller exhibits such as the John Deere 700 series corn head. You can see some of the stock rollers here. And we can also see the 700 series combine cab. They don't have a full combine on display this year, but we can see some of the new cab features. And I'll be talking with John Deere in some different interviews about their new equipment. John Deere also has a range of lawn and garden and utility tractors here. And I thought one really stood out that I would like to learn more about. And we can take a look at some of the different rototillers, bush hogs, loaders. But I thought this uh, 1025R was interesting because it has a loader with a mower deck mounted on the front. That's definitely interesting. And I think it would be great to learn some more about that from John Deere. It's also got a backhoe on it. So this kind of gives you an idea of what John Deere has on exhibit this year. Of course, they have their gators, their zero turns, their 2660 VT 
tillage tool. They have just a sample of it here of how it works to aggressively break down residue and integrate it with the soil. As always, thank you for checking out Big Tractor Power YouTube, and it was great to take a look at some of this new equipment, like the 1745 planner, with some of the classic John Deere's like the 4430 and the big new machines like the 8RX. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action.